The three officials involved in St. John's controversial finish yesterday, Earl Walton, Jim Burr, and Tim Higgins, have all voluntarily agreed to not work the rest of the tournament. Frankly, it was the only decision they could have made if they wanted to protect the integrity of the game. In St. John's two-point win over Rutgers in a second-round game at the Garden the other day, all three blew two obvious calls at the end of the game that might have altered the outcome or certainly given Rutgers a chance to win the game. Uh, with four seconds to play, D.J. Kennedy hit a uh, hit one of two three throws to give St. John's a two-point lead. Mike Rice decided he was going to draw up a play where he would throw a baseball pass the length of the floor to his freshman center, Gil Baruta. In the course of the play, two St. John's players stepped in the middle, knocked the ball loose. Justin Brownlee picks up a loose ball along the sidelines and then proceeds to do the unthinkable. He not only walks three steps, but he steps out of bounds near the scorer's table with 1.7 seconds left to play, which should have automatically ruled uh, a change of possession. Then he throws the ball into the stands while there is still time remaining on the clock, which could have resulted in a technical foul for delay of the game. Officials chose to swallow their whistles, call nothing, and run off the floor. I think the biggest problem after that was that no one was able to get any pool reporter in to visit with them. Uh, we never got any statement from the officials. We just got a statement from the league. The troubling thing about this to me is the fact that coaches can be suspended, but they still have to deal with the media. I think that officials should be just as accountable. I think that when they make mistakes, they should be judged that way. And I think that as independent, um, entrepreneurs who are trying to officiate games, they should be judged on the way they officiate on a regular basis, not just given a paycheck and sent off to their next job.